What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another vlog here today. It is around like almost like six or seven ish. I have not eaten anything today. I ate, no, I ate one thing today, but it wasn't it wasn't a lot. And because I've just been busy with work and uh, trying to find um, different opportunities, so I just kind of like skipped down on eating, which is like not good. Um, it's kind of counterproductive if you're trying to like build muscle and get bigger and you're not eating. But you know. <laughs> I still got I still got some time to, get, to like get some down some calories today, so I'm gonna do that. Um, we're about to go to the gym right now. Gonna hit some chest and tries. Um, I'm trying. I just need to get it out of the way. I wish I got it out of the way this morning, so I could continue working and then like continue doing my schoolwork as well. But I didn't, so we're stuck with right now. So I'm gonna see you guys at the gym. So we just made it here to the gym, and I'm going to walk you guys through my chest and tricep workouts. So I will see you guys in there. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because. What's going on, YouTube? I wasn't gonna make this video today because you know your boy has a pimple on his nose the size of Africa, but I'm making it anyway. We're about to go work out with um, my boy Malik, and I'm shooting a video. I'm shooting a video for myself for my company today, so he's helping me out with that. So um, I gotta pay it back somehow. But um, he's helping me with that. We're about to go get a workout in at Alpha Lead, and we're gonna see you guys there. All right, so I just made it here to the gym. Dude, one thing I just realized that I hate. So I'm supposed to be working out with Malik, and then I'm supposed to be recording him at the same time. So if I'm doing that, that's that's, that's bad. Like I can't actually work out. So I, I don't know if I just like record him or what. But I have to constantly have to have the camera out and putting it in on the gimbal. Like there's a lot of work that goes into like videography and like getting the right angles you know i gotta be in the zone and i can't be in the zone if i'm recording somebody i don't know i'm gonna figure it out <laughs> should have just hired somebody to do this but um team save you money so yeah you see you guys in there what's up what's going on the quad is just dude they're like popping with it say what the quads are like popping Ooh, man, look good, dude. Look good. Might even make my calves look somewhat there. <laughs> Ready for the shoot? Yeah, I have dry scoops. Total war. Oh, so yeah, yeah, he's ready. About to get the shoot in. All right. So we just wrapped up that workout with Malik, and we were originally supposed to do legs today, but he said he wanted to do back. So I was like, all right, we'll do back. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna save my pre-workout for later so I can hit legs right now. So I'm about to warm it up with that. And I really hope I don't get copyrighted because I'm not gonna take this music out in the background. I'm just really trying to talk over it. So uh, <laughs> so we're doing this. We're gonna go up to 315, see how that feels. Get <laughs> So literally, 315 right now feels like 800 pounds. I literally had to go find Malik's ass. Look at this dude, I had to go find him in the gym. He's just over there, fucking huffing and puffing, out of breath, like he's 50 years old. I had to go find him so he could spot me on this. Because I feel like if I had went down on this, it was not gonna come up. But I have a five by five with this. We're not going back, we're not backing out with the weight. Gonna keep going. So, let's get in. I'm trying to focus on controlling the weight, not letting the weight control me. And I did back, like I said, I did back today already. I saved half of my pre-workout, so I would be able to do this. And I, you, just, you just can't back down, because if you do, when you, once you start backing out, that's going to be the moment where you just keep doing lighter weight and lighter weight. And you're not going to grow unless you keep going, like progressing and moving up. So, I'm dying right now, but that's temporary, it's not going to last. Look at my boy Malik over here, he, he keeps coming over here and he's spotting me on shit. So, yeah. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the end of this video. And, well it's gonna be the end or the beginning because this is just the part where I'm beginning to talk. You know, I'm um, doing this about um, reasons why you're not losing weight. 
I have some bullet points on my broken iPhone right here that we're gonna go through. Um, we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna dive into it. First one, first reason why you're not losing weight is you're not eating the right kind of foods. And if you're a beginner, obviously um, you need to take some time to research along the lines of the foods that you're putting in your body. Because if you don't know the foods that you're putting in your body, you are not going to make any progress. If anything. You're gonna have the beginner's luck. I don't know if it's called like beginner's luck, where you just kind of go to the gym. It could be eating anything. The word's called plateau. And basically, when you're working out for a long time, you see progress, and then you hit like um, a plateau or something along those lines, and you're not making any more progress. You don't know why. You think you're eating the right kinds of foods, but you're not because you're not putting in the research. And if you don't put in the research, um, it's kind of like kind of like that effect where you're not making any progress. You, you're doing that cycle. Um, so that's the first thing. Second thing, definitely number two, is eating too much of one thing. If you're eating too much of one thing and you don't know if it's healthy or not, or if it has any benefit for your overall um, macronutrients or just macro in general, um, it's best not to eat it. Number three is definitely not knowing how to count macronutrients. If you don't take the time into um, like buying a scale, and learning how to count your uh, macronutrients and everything you're putting in your body. Again, um, you're gonna have some luck that um, you're gonna have like beginner's luck with losing weight, but it's not going to be overall like you're gonna be losing so uh, a significant amount. You need to know how to count macronutrients in order to make significant progress. Number four is not knowing the difference between proteins, carbs, and fats. If you're going to take the time to work out, you need to again you need to take the time into putting into knowing what you're putting into your body. So that goes without saying, you gotta put in your research, you gotta know what you're doing. Um, you don't need to hire a coach if you're um, just starting out. Like I said, you can do it on your own, learn how to do everything. I never, I've never, personally, I've never hired a coach before. I don't think you guys need to hire a coach either. I feel like what you guys need to do is put in the time to actually researching by yourself. And when you do that, you will overall make the progress you're looking for, okay? Number five, is definitely not doing the right exercises at the gym and don't get me wrong there's not a certain exercise that you need to do to lose weight but it's overall um, just going to gym and being like what the hell do I do and then you just start just working out doing anything in a gym and obviously if you do that you're not gonna make any progress either because you don't even know what the machine does so um, these are kind of basic reasons but it can kind of be like a wake-up call for some people or you could not know any of this at all and this could be a big help to you you know so um, those kind of those things I list I listed you need to take the time to research Google's free YouTube's free um, let's see this book is free no this book isn't free no book is free this is this you can buy this book if you're like trying to learn how to do personal training but honestly, this book helps a lot. Um, it has some, some pretty basic information that you guys uh, can learn from in here. Another, um, another book over here that I have written, download this book right here. It's called The Muscle and Strength Training Period. This book is 290 pages, but it literally tells you everything you need to know when it comes to um, tra like nutrition. They also have another book. I have both of these books. They're like $90 each or um, you can download it off the internet for free for um, I'm not telling you guys to go like download it for free but I'm, I'm not telling you not to do it you know what I'm saying um, the other book is the same one but this is a strength training one and basically this one tells you everything you need to know about training um, it has this one has a little bit of nutrition in here as well but this one's mainly like training and how to perform squats how to perform deadlifts um, how to train, how many sets, how many reps, you know, so if you really don't want to hire a coach and you really want to know everything there is about training and nutrition, those are definitely the two books you want to start with that are really good. Um, I would definitely recommend that book over um, this book that I said, because this book is cool and all, but um, it's such basic knowledge. This one gives you more knowledge over like... Um, from what I read, like the human, I don't really remember. It was a lot of like um, long terms, as long like the bones and all you need to know about the body. It's not as far as like, how to like train, but um, it was kind of like basic information. These two go more to depth on like, like I said, everything you need to know. So I would definitely try those two out before you try um, 
any other books out there. So, yeah. Again, so as far as with like the training and everything, those are like the main five reasons. If you get down all these reasons, if you just learn how to count your macros and take the time into um, trying to teach yourself, I learned a lot of what I knew, from, a lot of what I know from um, one first thing I learned uh, from what was like 2016, I believe it was like 2016. I learned a lot of what I know from bodybuilding.com when I first started. Obviously, there's a lot of incorrect information on bodybuilding.com, but um, what I learned from bodybuilding.com was they had a lot of like how to perform like squat, deadlift, not not along the lines of, like nutritional information. I didn't really take any nutritional information away from bodybuilding.com, but basically I would um, try like um, just how to show like how to do perform squat and how to perform deadlift and squat and things of that nature. Yeah, but a lot of other, other people that I learned from basically when I started was like Damian Patrick was one of the biggest people that I learned from. Damian Patrick, um, um, Christian Guzman, um, I didn't learn too much from him. I learned more so about, um, what was it? That I, I learned how to count macros from him. That, he was, that was a big important thing that I took away from Christian Guzman was counting macros. And Jeff Nippard. He, I learned a little bit from him, more on like the scientific side, not too much from him. Um, but those couple of people were basically people that I learned stuff from. Not long, I, I read a lot of other books on um, training and nutrition. None that I can't really remember at those times, but those couple of ones that I showed you were the main one. And again, if you guys want more information like that, just be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.